So Microsoft SQL Server 2022 just officially released it yesterday. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server 2022 and SQL Server Management Studio. So there are multiple editions of uh, SQL Server where you can install, such as the standard uh, edition, enterprise edition. Then we have the uh, developer and Xbox editions. And in this video, I'll be installing the uh, developer edition. Right, so before I dive into the installation, I want to quickly discuss the difference between developer and Xbox editions. And let me put out the uh, summary here real quick. And let me zoom in a little bit more. So if you're someone who is trying to learn SQL Server or trying to get started with uh, learning SQL Server, then I recommend that you download the uh, developer edition. Since uh, when you download the developer edition, this is basically the full feature of uh, SQL Server database. So it comes with every single feature that is available. Then we have the Express Edition where it's an entry level free database. It's ideal for learning and building desktop and small server data driven applications. So what that means is uh, with the Express Edition, you don't have any uh, license issues. So you can use this uh, on your production environment, or your staging environment, or your testing environment. It doesn't matter. So you can use the Express Edition however you want. First, the developer edition. This edition allows you to test any new features that you're interested in that is not available from the uh, previous edition. All right, now I want to go down to the storage uh, section. So one thing to keep that in mind is when you're using the Xbox edition, you can only use up to 1,410 megabytes of memory. First, with the enterprise edition, which is basically the developer edition. You can use up to 128 gigabytes of memory. And one last thing I want to mention that with the Express edition, you can only have up to 10 gigabytes of storage. First, with the enterprise or the standard edition, you can have up to 524 petabytes of uh, storage. So that's going to be everything I want to cover in terms of the uh, differences between developer and Express editions. Now let's dive into the installation. So I'll put all the links in the description below, just in case I want to know where to get to uh, all these pages. Now on the uh, SQL Server installation page, on the developer, click on download now. And it's going to prompt you to uh, download the file. And I'm going to download the uh, installation file under my downloads uh, folder. Now go to your downloads folder and double click on the uh, file to launch the installation process. So here we have three choices, basic, custom, and download media. So download media will basically download the SQL Server slash file, so you can later on uh, use that file to install the database in a separate machine. And custom will allow you to select features you want to include or uh, exclude. And basic will install the uh, standard uh, features. And you can also go back to install the features that are not included from the uh, custom edition. All right, so here I'm going to select basic. Now read to the uh, license term and click on accept. For the installation location, I'll set that to default. Then click on install. And it looks like the installation is complete and it took about, I still around five minutes on my PC. Now I want to quickly go over uh, these four properties. So instance name is basically your local host's name. So if we look at the uh, property here, and this is your local host's name. So think there is an address that are uh, tied to your uh, database. And SQL Administrator is basically uh, your configuration file uh, where it's located. And here's your uh, username uh, later on you'll be using to log in into your database. Uh, features, oops, let me go back. So features installed uh, are basically a configuration file that includes uh, all the features that uh, you have installed. And for version, uh, I'm going to uh, ignore this one since uh, this is not important. Now I want to check if you have successfully uh, installed your database uh, correctly. So click on this. Uh, connect now uh, button. And the command line window will pop up. 
And on this window, you can uh, basically write your uh, SQL statement. So I can say select uh, server name. And oh, I don't think that's working. Anyway, if you see uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2022, as well as the uh, Systems Edition, in this case, it's going to be developer. That means that you have successfully installed the database on your PC. Now, at this point, uh, we can uh, move on to install SQL Server Management Studio. Now, click on Install SSMS, and that will open the uh, web page. Let me put that here. On this page, uh, this is where you're going to download SQL Server Management Studio. Now, scroll down to Download SSMS, and you want to click Free Download for SQL Server Management Studio. Now I'm going to save the setup file in my downloads folder. You can always uh, save the file in a different directory. It's really up to you. Now click on save. And it looks like the uh, download is complete. All right, so if we look at the file size, the SQL Server Management Studio uh, setup file is about 676 megabytes uh, large. So it's a pretty big file. Now double click on the launch file to uh, start the installation process. And I forgot that we can close this window now. All right, so when I first uh, launch my SQL Server Management Studio uh, installation, it's going to ask me to uh, either do repair or uninstall. And that's because I already have SQL Server Management Studio installed on my PC. I'm going to click on repair, but for you, uh, if you are first time installing the software, then it might be uh, installed. All right, so I'm going to click on repair. Now it's loading the package. I'm going to wait. Now it looks like the uh, installation for SQL Server Management Studio is complete. And I noticed that they now comes with uh, Azure Data Studio as well. So the software recommends you to restart your PC and I'll probably do that. But for demonstration purpose, I'm going to uh, just close this window. Now, if I look at my programs, if I search for uh, SQL Server Management Studio, it should be uh, this one right here, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 18. I'm going to open uh, the software. When you first launch SQL Server Management Studio, uh, this is going to be the uh, prompt window that you're going to see. Now on the server type, make sure that you choose their base engine and because uh, there are several other different uh, server type. And for server name, if you don't see your server name that uh, automatically uh, get out of field, then click on the drop down and browse for more. Now on the database engine, click on this uh, plus sign to expand all the uh, available servers that you currently have available on your PC. So on my computer, I have two instances. Uh, this one is from SQL Server 2019, and this one is uh, SQL Server 2022. So notice that before, when we uh, did the configuration, my instance name is uh, Microsoft SQL Server uh, 01. And I'm going to choose the uh, 2022 instance and click on OK. And they'll automatically uh, fill the server name field. And since I'm using window authentication, uh, authentication type, so I'm going to set that as uh, the default and click connect. All right, so congratulations. At this point, you have successfully installed SQL Server 2022 and as well as installed SQL Server Management Studio. Now under the Object Explorer, I'm going to expand databases folder. So here you're going to see uh, by default, we have four uh, system databases, master, model, MSDB, TimpDB. And I'll cover those in a separate video. So I'm going to create a new uh, SQL script. And I can use the shortcut Control N to create a new uh, blank script. All right, so here I'm going to type, actually, uh, yeah, that's fine. So my connection is currently set to connect to master database. And to ensure that, I am uh, connecting to the uh, 2022 instance. I'm going to type select at at server name and then run the statement and bypass F5. And here's the uh, 
your SQL Server instance name, which is going to be the address that link to uh, this uh, database. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.